I really love that one, so I'm going to pour myself. <laughs> my fellow soulmates and food lovers and welcome to another episode of Eileen's Kitchen Stories. As you can see right here, I promise that I'm going to make an episode on the drinks that we will have at a German barbecue. This is an episode on not only the beer but anything really that we love to drink during a grill party. And you know the stereotypes about Germans, then you will know that we love beer, especially in the summer season. So, for example, we have regular beers that we're gonna drink. I mean, this is um, a Czech beer, which my dad just loves, which is the Budweiser. To be honest, in summer especially, we love one thing, and these are shandies. For example, beer mixed with Fanta, or beer mixed with Coke, or beer mixed with Right, these are pre-mixed beers. This one is with some berry and some guarana. Or we have something like this. This is a back screen lemon, very, very typical. You can get that. Actually, in Germany, we love to call these beers lady beers or very womanly beers because, you know, only proper men drink beer without anything in it. But a lot of people really, really love to have drinks mixed in. So let's take, for example, this one right here. This is called a diesel and it's literally just a regular lager beer mixed with coke. You will find a diesel everywhere in Germany, but you might find it with a different name according to what kind of beer you put in. Taking a regular pills with coke is called diesel, but if you take a Hefeweizen, so like a wheat beer, then it's called Cola Weizen. Or if you are in the Kölsch area in Cologne and you want to have a Kölsch with cola, then it's called a drecksack, a dirt bag. <laughs> and then the second very, very popular drink, the beer lemonade kind of a drink, is the Radler. And really depending on the region where you are, it's called Radler or Alster or even Potsdamer. Radler is the German word for cyclists and it has a long history in the German regions. The origin of the name is a loss to time, but presumably because Cycling is a very popular sport in Germany. People loved it on the journey to drink something refreshing, isotonic and a little less in alcohol. The Radler has the reputation of being a thirst quencher. It is so popular in summer because it's so refreshing if you are in a hot summer day at the grill party. So cheers! And then the third beer is also a Radler or a Potsdamer or an Alster. You mix it with Fanta and that is also very popular. The Radler, the Alster and the Potsdamer kind of refer to the same drink because it's half beer and then half either citrus or orange lemonade. You can literally just decide what you want to have your beer with, if it's Fanta or if it's Sprite. Something rather not as typical is to drink wine at a grill party. Well, it depends on how sophisticated your grill party is, but if you're with family and friends, you usually have a variety of beer or you just have regular juices or fizzy drinks. My parents, for example, they really love to dunk into some wine or my grandmother, for example as well but that's really up to you after you've had the meal lots of lots of food you need to have a digestive and in my family it's very normal to drink a kräuter schnaps at the end so a digestive made of herbs you can get it in bottles like this and this is how you drink it you tap it really really loud onto the wood or whatever kind of table you have then you get the lid, pop it on your nose, and with the lid on your nose, you drink it. <laughs> you might be thinking, oh, these Germans, do they only drink stuff with alcohol in it at a grill party? No, obviously not. We love to drink, you know, the regular fizzy drinks, but also we love to have some soda and apple juice, which is called Apfelschorle in Germany, or some of my favorites, which is the Vitamalz or the Kraftmalz, which is a malty drink. It kind of resembles a beer, but without any alcohol. I really love that one, so I'm going to pour myself. <laughs> so I'm going to pour myself a glass. Just looks like a beer, but it's not. Mm -hmm. 
so good guys. So peeps, I really hope that you like this little excursion on what to drink at a German grill party. You can also drink these in other restaurants and bars and things like that, but we really love to drink these while being in a hot summer. And if you enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs up. Please feel free to subscribe for free to my channel. It would be amazing to see you next time. And then I'm looking forward to the next video to seeing you guys. Bye.